Welcome to the Total Power Stadium, Holm Park in Sheppey. The Kent Football Association, the Merit Under-15 Boys Plate Final. It's Vinters FC against Orpington Mustangs. Vinters in the green and black. Manager Sam Lawrence, assisted by Grant Foreman and Louis Lawler. Metham Colts 2-1 in the quarterfinals, Minster 2-1 in the semi-finals. As for Orpington Mustangs, they're in the amber and black. Managers John De Palma and Andy Chapman have seen their side have to come through four rounds so far. They haven't conceded a single goal. Referee to that, Louis Covington. As the shot is blazed over the bar, assisted by Alastair Snedden and Tom Amber. Lloyd Holland is the fourth official. It's brilliantly retrieved. Determined run this from Josh Sibley. He's got Amber shirts all around him. He had eyes for one thing and one thing only. It was a goal. It was the side netting. That's a good cross. Comes through to Charlie Wright. Still Wright. And stood up. Cervais makes room for the shot. Not too much power. Well, Easy well, for Robert Connolly. It's a good ball from Alisson. Just failed to connect properly. Josh Sibley. Marion Hunter. Goes for goal. He scored eight goals this season and five of them have been in the cup competitions. Fancies his chances there from a long way out. Carter Blake. Pulls it back, flicked towards goal by Dominic Miller. Another dominant run from Yusuf Allison. That's good play from Sibley. He's brought in Emil Bobby. Squeezes it the wrong side of the post. It has gone behind. It's a goal kick. It's been given away. Hunter takes it away from Lawrence. Still Hunter. He's avoided two challenges there. From Foreman and from Heron. And then the shot from Hunter. Takes a deflection and that will be a corner. And we're in towards that near post. Acrobatic. Not quite an end product. And coming forward here with Orpington. Shot from distance from Carter Blake. Safely gathered. Oh, now is that a foul? Yes, says the referee. Ethan Foreman catches Dominic Miller and he has no complaints. It is Miller from the penalty spot. Saved by Jay Blake. He guessed the right way. And the game stays at nil-nil. It's a good ball from Chapman. That's a delivery. It's Carter Blake. It was dangerous. So nice. That's a good ball. This is Sibley. Good play from Sibley. That's a super finish. A little bit of control inside the penalty area. And then when he cut inside, he took the two defenders away from it. Just like that. Makes himself half a yard. And he was clinical in the finish into the corner. 1 0 to Vinters. It's a typical striker's goal. Good uh, play. It's just over the top. The goalkeeper might have taken a touch, but a goal kick is given. Taken by Miller. Miller charging forward. A little lob. Just the wrong side of the post. So close. Long punt from Jay Blake. Time is well and truly running out now for oh! Orpington Mustangs. And there goes the final whistle. Vinters are victorious. Thanks to a goal in the second half from Josh Sibley. They had to ride their luck. Jay Blake saving the penalty. It was a very tight contest. The man that won the game with the only goal of the game is the player of the match, Josh Sibley. Can't help but feel sorry for Orpington Mustangs coming into a very even final. 
having not conceded a single goal en route to this final. They are beaten by the only goal of the final by Josh Sibley. But they certainly played their part, they had their chances, they missed that penalty of course. They should hold their heads up high. Jay Blake saving that penalty, leads up his team to collect their winner's medals. The game was settled in the end by just the one goal. There wasn't much in it between these two teams. It's a very good final. Last in the queue is the captain, Ethan Foreman. He gave away the penalty. And he's all smiles now because he's got his hands on the plate. Ethan <laughs> Foreman lifts the Kent FA Merritt under 15 boys plate. Congratulations to Vinters.